I'm a little embarrassed to shoot this video, but uh, right now this is the incubator I'm using. It's a POS, a piece of fill in the blank. Uh, it's a Hoovabator. I don't really recommend them. They're really a pain in the butt. The to set the temperature, to get it to stay right, to get it, they don't work very well. Um, I do have an incubator on back order, waiting for it to come in. Uh, it should hopefully be here within the next week or so. The guy, he makes them, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for that one to come in. But uh, this is what I have right now. It was suitable for me for years, you know, a few years, and now it's just not anymore. Uh, I need something bigger. So this is what I have. Um, it's a little rusty. It's, it's not great, but, you know, it does its job. You just need to monitor it. Right now the temperature is 83.5 inside, which is fine. Between 82 to, I believe, 86, you can incubate the uh, eggs, the bearded dragon eggs. Now, there's nothing documented for bearded dragons that says if you incubate at this temperature, at a lower temperature, you get females. You incubate at a higher temperature, you get males. There's really nothing documented, nothing proven. Um, so, I'm incubating my, my one clutch I had at a higher temperature. This one, I'm incubating a lower temperature. But anyway, I'll lift the container. Here are the eggs from the translucent to the red. As you can see, they're doing very well. I do look at, you know, make sure they're doing great every day. They are much bigger than what they were. There's still 24, so all 24 are doing great. Um, I've, I don't take them out, you know, I don't candle them, but, uh, I don't want to disturb them. They were hatched, they were laid on March 5th, and today is April 1st, so it's almost a month, almost 30 days, so, you know, less than a month to go, and the baby should be popping out of there. I mean, these eggs are much bigger than what they were, and they look... You know, they're doing very well. They're all nice and white. Really healthy looking. So, I'm pretty, you know, excited about this clutch. You know, hopefully the, you know, they produce some nice babies. We'll see what happens. But, like I said, these incubators, they're okay. They're for your hobbyist who wants to breed and have a clutch here and there for fun yeah, it's good but to uh you know produce what i you know what i want to do and you know where i want to go it's it's not so good but uh you know once things progress you need bigger things there you go put this girl out there for you and uh you know, so that's the incubator. And, uh, so, alright, we're going to close out on the high contrast albino female. So, alright, take care, see ya.